Hey guys, so I'm finally coming to you with my Q&A, with the answers to the Q&A that you left. Um, I've got my notes in front of me, so excuse me if I keep looking down. But yeah, let's get right into it. So, Lee Rose Brown asked me, how do you manage to smile every day without fail? Um, I do generally smile every day, but I always seem to shout every day as well. But then I guess that's just having kids. I'm always like up and down and up and down. So being with me is, you know, a bit of a roller coaster really, because as much as I'm happy all the time and I'm excited all the time, I can also be like quite quick tempered and, you know, there's always, obviously you don't get to see that bit, but yeah, that's just my personality type. I'm like, <whistles> so yeah, I smile every day, but I also am frustrated every day. And yeah, I have quite, heightened emotions that makes sense gina garrod asks your hair always looks nice and thick have you got any secrets what shampoo and conditioner do you use i'm answering this as a hairdresser it's kind of whether you've been blessed with good hair or not really unfortunately i mean shampoos and good shampoos can help but i'm lucky that i've got my dad's hair not my mum's hair. My mum's got really, really fine hair and no matter what I do to it, if I layer it, if I, you know, whatever I do to it, every shampoo, it's just going to have thin hair. I actually thin my hair out because it is so thick, so, so thick. Um, but yeah, it's just genetics. I get my, I get my hair from my dad. Um, I do use sort of Tony and Guy shampoos a lot of the time. I do switch up and test out new products as they come out. But my favorite shampoos are Tony and Guy shampoos um, and I get them from the wholesaler because obviously I am in the trade so I get salon sizes so I don't have to buy them that often but yeah I do invest in good shampoos and conditioners. Alison Francis asked me a few questions. When you were a kid what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, I remember being really young and, and being asked what do you want to be when you're older and I always said I want to be a mum and I remember my mum going no 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 you know you're gonna to have to career and what else do you want to do and I was like no I want to be a mum so yeah my first thing was I wanted to be a mum and then school and I got the prospectus I mean I've spoken about a little bit of it that I'm not an academic type so I was never going to be someone that was a brain surgeon or anything that is intellectual based. I am more hands on, that's just who I am. Um, and when I was looking through the prospectus for, for a college, my sister, my older sister, was a hairdresser. My aunt was a hairdresser. So it was just something that was in the family and it was comfortable to me. And and it's that's the sort of path that I followed. But what I wanted to be when I was younger was a mum. So I got what I wanted. Alison Francis also asked, what was your nickname? I don't have a nickname now, but when I was a kid, my nickname was Granny. Yep. And my mum was always like, you moan like an old woman. I was very old in my ways and set in my ways like an old woman. So my mum used to call me Granny, even when I was like four. Come on, Granny. Granny. Yep. Alison also asked, who was you in a previous life? Um, I don't know. I do believe in previous lives and things like that. I just don't know who I was. It would be interesting to find out. Alison also asked me, ask your best friend to describe me in three words. So I sent her a message on WhatsApp, like, random question, describe me in three words. So her three words to describe me was spiritual, generous, and funny. Full Moon Moon asks, what do you do to keep yourself in good shape you look amazing thank you um I don't really do nothing if I'm honest um you see what I eat I don't really eat much in the day I get asked a lot do what you eat in the day I don't really eat anything in the day um I just mainly eat my main meal and then how I have supper um sometimes I might have a spot of lunch but I think what works in my favor I don't like sweet foods. Like I get people asking, show how you make cakes and things like that. We do eat cakes, but I don't think we eat much of. So I don't particularly like chocolate. I don't like I don't like those type of foods. I find them really sickly. Although I love crisps. Mm. And I'm definitely more of a savoury and a salty snacker than a sweet snacker. But I think that works in my 
favour and I don't put on loads of weight because, you know, I am quite slim, but that's not because I exercise at all, although I would like to take up exercising, but, but not for being slimmer, but just, you know, for being stronger and as you get older, you know, I notice I'm not as flexible as I used to be, like, use it or lose it. So I do want to do some exercise, but mainly for health reasons, not for slimming reasons. Um, but yeah, I just, I think all my family's pretty slim. I know when I was younger, I was under observation because I was so slim and I thought that there was something wrong. And in fact, my children now are really, really slim. And I get comments going, wow, your portions are huge. My little Liam's like that, but he eats just as much as I do. So I don't know if that's genetics, if we're just, we're just slim. But yeah, I don't do anything. But thank you for the compliment. So Full Moon and Sandy also asked, any more children? Do I want to have more children? Um, yes and no. I, I do. I love children. I absolutely adore my children. But I also got questions later on about my pregnancies. And that is one of the reasons why I don't want to have any more children because with every pregnancy I've had, the sickness is worse and worse. And my morning sickness isn't the first three months. It's continuous, it's from start to finish. It was so lethargic and tired. And the more children you have and you've got so much more to do, it's hard for me to have another child now when I've got three others to look after would be so much stress on myself. Um, and, you know, I've always been like, oh, I'd love a little girl. But I was blessed, I was truly blessed with three boys and I have to take my blessings where they're given to me. But Danny doesn't want any more children. He's like, no, I think after Ollie was like, no way. <laughs> You're a mum, I think there's a part of you that's like, oh, I see babies like, oh, I love them. I love them, they're just, I love them. I think that's kind of why I was like, Ollie's my last, let's go and volunteer in school. I don't know how to say this, but it's like I-L-L-I asks me, what were your pregnancy like? And which ones were more easier or enjoyable? None of them were easy and none of them were enjoyable. Um, I don't like being pregnant. I just, it doesn't suit me. I think Cameron was easier because I was younger and I had more energy. Because I was a young mum, I, I just had more energy. Um, and I worked until I was two weeks due to have him. But I was sick, like when I weren't working, I was laying down. And then my pregnancies just got worse and worse. And with Ollie, I barely functioned. I, I could barely function. I could just about take the kids to school. And I, it was awful. It's like they drained everything out of me. Labour, however, I had my first, I had my Cameron in six hours from start to finish. Liam was three hours from start to finish. And I think Ollie was about an hour and 45 minutes from start to finish, from my first labour pain until it was done with. Ollie was nice because he was actually born in this house. So that was really, really nice. Um, he was born in, if you saw my house tour yesterday, in the spare room, in the salon, he was born in there. And literally, I was holding on, waiting for the midwife to come. You know, you phone them and say, you know, I'm scheduled for a home birth, I've started. And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, no, listen, I had my last baby in three hours from start to finish. You need to get here. And they're like, oh, okay then. And they literally got here and I gave birth. And I was holding on, I was ready to give birth sooner than that. But you know when you're just like, no, no, not yet. I can't do this on my own. Um, I need a midwife. So yeah, um, pregnancies, awful. Labour and actual delivery, fine. I didn't have a single stitch with any of them, too much information, but literally, giving birth, fine. It's just the pregnancy, I just, I just can't cope with it. Full Moon also asks, do you have time and what do you do in your time if your children are asleep or away? So I think that's kind of like what I do in my spare time. Um, when the kids are asleep, generally I'll make sure anything that needs doing for the next day, any, like, any bit of tidying or preparing for the next day is done. That's my first thing that I do. Um, also, I watch telly. I, well, not so much TV, but Netflix. I watch Netflix or I watch YouTube. I generally don't really watch TV. Um, although you have to remember, my eldest is 14 and he goes to bed at 10 
and I go to bed at 11. So I only get an hour to myself. So, but yeah, just watch telly, watch YouTube, um, work in my planner and do things like that. For going away, Cameron and Liam are in Cubs. Well, Liam's in Cubs and Cameron is a junior cub leader and they're going to camp soon. So I have that where, but we'll have Ollie, but them two will be going to camp. And yeah, they don't really, they don't all go away. Sometimes my mum will come to stay and I've had a weekend away from my hubby and my mum's come to have the kids. And that's been really nice. Um, but yeah, not much really. Clean, watch YouTube, make videos. Gardening, I do love to garden. Crochet, I'm making a blanket, although I've been making it for about a year if I'm honest and I haven't got that far. I should probably show you that. Um, but yeah, I like to I like to do things like that. Nothing spectacular. So I went to edit this and realised that I lost a load of footage because my phone had turned itself off. And I was already at an hour. So I am going to edit it at this point and add a part two and possibly even a part three and try and put it into sections. So this is part one of my question and answers video and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one, the second part. Take care, bye.